Hey guys, I thought I would do a little vlog today. We are in London for a few days. I was gonna pick up the camera tomorrow, but I'm actually doing some shopping now, so I thought, why not take you guys along? I have booked a personal shopper at Topshop in Knightsbridge, which if you don't know, is just opposite Harrods. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what it's like. I've never done personal shopping experience, but you suppose how much nicer fitting rooms. It's easier for busier stores, so let's see how it goes. It's insanely beautiful. I'm never shopping in Topshop like I used to. Again, just look at this room. I came super comfy, ready to try on in my Whistles tee and H&M leather trousers. But oh my gosh, I just want this as my walk-in wardrobe. The sofas, the big mirrors, and these are the outfits that she's picked up for me. So she's actually sectioned them into full outfits, which is pretty exciting. There's some things that I can already see that I love the look of. And it's really nice because you can also try on boots at the same time or shoes or bits of jewelry as well to see how it goes with the outfit. And I got plenty to try on, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get going. I did pick up this jacket myself as well, so you can also go out and see what you wanna try on. First outfit is quite smart, casual. I love the light wash jeans. I'm wearing them in a size 10. They fit so nicely around the waist and they also drop really nicely at the bottom. They are buttoned um, through here though, which I'm always a little bit lazy with, I don't know why. The blouse is really nice, but I'll show you that off. And then a simple gray blazer. I don't own a gray blazer, so I do really quite like this one. It also nips me in really nicely around the back. I don't know if you can see that, but I quite like the light tones of this and how it's kind of transitioning from the really light summer colors into something just a little bit more autumn-y. Here's the sweet polka dot blouse without the blazer on. Love the bow sleeves and also it has this nice detail here where it's just a little bit frilled. I think it looks a lot nicer on it than it does on the hanger. And I'm pretty much trying everything on today in a size 10 so that makes it really easy. I can definitely see myself wearing this as a pretty much everyday outfit. You guys know I love beige and this one is certainly beige. I'm not sure if I would wear it all together. So the trench is in a beige leather with silver hardware. I do like gold hardware, but I don't think I could be fussy on this one because it is gorgeous. And then I'll show you the tee and stuff when I take it off, but the trench pockets are kind of really nice. They're big, you can kind of chuck your hand in them. I don't think it's a jacket that I'd ever fully do up but I love the style of it and I love that it's a little bit different for a trench. It comes to quite a light, nice length on me, I'm about five foot six, so kind of middle-ish height. And let me show you the rest of the outfit underneath. Now I'm loving this outfit because I don't think I necessarily would have picked this up and I'm not sure I'll wear the shoes because autumn coming and they're gorgeous though, they're absolutely stunning. They're in all of these neutral tones in more of a snake skin print and they are quite secured onto your feet you could walk easily in these perfect for a night out and i would need a heel with these trousers because they are quite long on me but i just think that they're really chic they definitely elongate the leg quite a bit and i think they're flattering around the waist but i love them paired with this oversized t-shirt it has some really big baggy feel to it just so it feels a little bit more relaxed think for more every day I definitely pair them with a pair of boots so I could wear it to kind of like more work events or meetings but equally you could dress it up and you could wear it in the evening too. Excuse my socks on there but I have just been trying on some boots to see more so how high I'd have to go heel wise with these and this is about the perfect I think they actually look really nice with a pointed boot and um, it's something about that high, which I think is fine for every day. Hang on, let me just try it on. There we go, to give you an idea of them on with a boot. So you still have quite a little bit of length there, so it wouldn't be dragging on the floor. And I think the point just makes it look that a little bit more sophisticated as a boot. I did try on the other ones, but they didn't quite go right. But I think a light color and something like this would be perfect. This top is just perfect and so flattering. I'm so in love with it, it's in my favorite color, but just the fit, I think is amazing. I feel really sexy, I feel really like I can move easily in it. So it's a bit of that like top, which is a jacket top. It's got quite a big collar to it and then the pockets and it kind of just flops over underneath and ties in the middle, but it gathers really nicely on the sleeves. It's that perfect outfit where you could go from work to drinks 
and black skinnies just make it look so slimming. As you can see, I've got it on with two different boots. A bit more of a statement chunky boot there, the big buckles. I love, well, I must admit, this is silver here, so I wouldn't be able to pair it with gold, but I do love a gold on a buckle and then just a more plain boot there too with the um, square toe. To be honest, whatever black boot you could put it with, just with a little bit of a heel, I think is really nice. So again, I've got this one in a size 10 as well as the trousers and these are these trousers really take me back because i've had these i used to live in them at uni they're like their um leather sprayed almost um skinny trousers they're jamie jeans they're so comfy on they fit really really nicely um but i do already have a few pairs at home i love this green color it's a gorgeous foresty green lovely midi dress really flashing likes how it kind of pairs in at the waist here i actually really like the chunky trainer with it too and it's got a gorgeous big slit up the side guys i know i love a slit in a dress it's got a little pretty i think they're navy i think navy or black maybe black stars all over it and actually the light's being a little bit harsh on it here but it has kind of different sleeves they're quite nice because they're not too long in length but i love how it billows to the side here just feels really relaxed i think that's why it pairs perfectly with trainers but in the same time, I think that you could pair this one with some heeled boots and dress it up a bit for an evening. Kind of that easygoing dress that you could wear quite a lot of the time. And I reckon this one would be perfect paired with a leather jacket, black leather jacket for every day use. And then also you could kind of dress it up a bit, maybe something a little bit more sparkly for an evening. This one definitely gets me a little bit excited for the party season because it's my first little bit of glitz that I'm trying on. The skirt's actually really pretty. I wasn't sure about it when I saw it on the hanger, but it's quite cute on. And what I love about it is this jumper because it's a jumper that I don't feel like you have to tuck in. I tend to find sometimes, especially with skirts, pairing them with jumpers can be quite difficult, especially the oversized ones when they're kind of like trying to tuck them in and they don't just aren't flattering. And this one, it gives a much more of a like effortless look with a skirt. So I think that this jumper will definitely pick up because I love wearing midi skirts over the winter months and just look at the glistening on this so it's so fun and actually I think really nice because you can wear it with this kind of outfit just day to day but then obviously you can multi wear it and dress it up for an evening definitely pair it with bits of gold show you a bit of the detail up close but also it's kind of like it's froofy and it's feminine without being too feminine do you guys get what i mean it's not like too much on the froofy side like I, I still feel like i could wear this at, into my 30s without feeling too girly and feminine and the boots are nice too they're a bit more rounded but they're quite high which i always like because if you want to pair them with trousers kind of just goes over the line of trousers but equally they look nice with skirts this is my last outfit now and I think one of my favorites so it's the Jamie jeans again love these so so comfortable the boots which I've tried on a few times perfect for skinny jeans or mum jeans or I just had it on with that skirt so really multi-use this blouse I'll show you with the jacket off but I do love this jacket again I think that it's really flattering you can have it open or let me try and close it hang on there you go, or you could have it closed, which I think cinching it in, again, is quite flattering. I got this one in a size small, but I actually reckon, I don't know if I could go up a size. They have this one in a few colors, and I think I preferred the more stone color, but I don't know if that was last season, so I'm gonna check if they have that one. Probably should have tucked the shirt in for you guys. It actually went really perfectly with that jacket there. It's a bit more of a modern leopard print, just a really nice blouse, especially to pair with blacks if you wear a lot of black over the autumn season. This jacket is so cute. It's really, really fluffy. I don't know if you can see. It feels warm, but it also feels quite comfy and uh, kind of like oversized, but not too oversized. Perfect for just flinging over definitely that boyfriend lumber jacket fit, but it's in really feminine colors. I got one like this in H&M, but I think this one's just that little bit more feminine. Definitely needs to be slightly more open. Maybe necklace out. Could definitely see me wearing this one all of the time because it's so comfy. I'm literally halfway through getting dressed, but what is this here? Is this a diffuser? I feel like it must be because it's got liquid down the bottom. 
that is pretty cool. I'm pretty much taking all of the inspo for our house and uh, just having a good nosy at all of the interiors. Love the wood floor. It's definitely making me want to do wood flooring in the upstairs of the house with a nice big cozy rug. Anyway, back to clothes. Okay, so I'm trying to narrow it down. Definitely gonna get that one. The white tee was just a really nice fitting white tee. Trousers, jumper, but I'm not sure. I think I quite like this one too. And I did like the light wash jeans, but I tend to go towards black over autumn time. And I love this jacket, but feel like ugh, I can't replace it because of my H&M one that I bought. And I think I wanna get this one in this stone color. Oh, and I'm definitely getting these booties here. It's miserable weather, so I'm huddled under the umbrella. It's raining at the moment, but hopefully you can hear me because it is busy along here. That was so much fun, and I will leave all of the details for my uh, personal shopper that I used down below. She was so nice, um, and as you saw, I picked up a good few pieces. Um, so yeah, it worked really well. <laughs> it's not actually much later now, but it's dark outside. We are with George. Don't want to show his car in the background there. Um, we are going to get some sushi and go bowling. I haven't been bowling for years, so I'm not sure how it's going to go, but the boys have said that I'm allowed the sides up and they're going to have the sides down. So hopefully I'm in with a bit of a chance of actually being able to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's another miserable day. It is tipping it down in London at the moment. I am off to the Monica Vineda sample sale. I need to find it first. I'm um, really excited. I love their stuff. Sorry, busy London for you. And um, yeah, I've never actually been to a sample sale, so I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like. They've very kindly given me a like uh, VIP queue jump, they call it. So hopefully, I won't be having to wait in the rain for too long. But I'll take you along and see how it is. What do you reckon of that one? That's quite cute. Well done. Okay, so this is a little stash that I have so far. A lot of the gold little bracelets. I've got one here in a black color, then a few more just gold, and then a few of these rings, which I'm hoping I might be able to get resized. And now I'm waiting over here for the diamond key. If it will focus. And we're out. You can just see the queue behind me and it's wrapping around the building. I stuck to my budget. I'm very good <laughs> at sticking to my budget. Ollie actually was the surprising one. He wasn't gonna come in, but it was tipping it down with rain when we got there. Um, she was like, you can go in if you like. So decided to get out of the rain. And yeah, he was a very bad neighbor. Like rummaging through things, saying, oh, do you want really this, do you want that? And that is the thing. You kind of do go over what you want, but I'll show you what I picked up later. I picked up some diamond bits I am back home now and it has rained ever since we were in London yesterday. I feel like it just hasn't stopped raining. I'm all snuggly today. Actually, this one is from Fila, which you'll have seen in the video. We stayed with my friend George, who works for Fila, and he got me this one. And it is the snuggliest, most comfortable thing to have at home, especially in this house, because I feel like it's always cold, especially at the moment but I wanted to show you what I picked up from Monica Vanilla. And actually I think maybe I will just show you the pieces on the table because I reckon that might be easier. No, actually maybe I will try them on because you'll probably be able to see them better. Now I've got to remember which piece is which. I've got a receipt in front of me here, so hopefully I can work it out and give you guys some kind of idea. So many of you messaged me on Instagram asking uh, just about the event, what the prices were like, and how I found out. So Monica Vinegar actually got in touch with me, and that's how I got the Q jump. But next time one goes on, I'll try and let you guys know as soon as possible. That'll be over on my Instagram though, so if you're not following me, 
over there I will pop it up over here so that you can uh, follow me over there to find out on those kind of things now first piece I got so they sectioned it off and the diamond piece you actually had to queue for and they had like bounces on the diamond section I was looking for specifically bracelets and rings um, I did get a necklace though, so I guess you just have to be open and minded. So this is the first piece. This one was £75 and this camera isn't going to focus. If this camera struggles to focus a lot through the video, I am sorry. Basically it's the new Canon and it does have auto focus issues which they're sorting out in October, so any time now. But let me try this one on and get it to focus for you. So this one with the diamonds was £75, I think originally this one would have been way up in there, maybe 300 350 I haven't actually checked the prices of all of the items. And then that was one of my most expensive, and another diamond piece I got was this ring, which again was £75. I'm hoping that that one has focused for you now. Excuse my nails, I'm going to get them done today. <laughs> they desperately need to be done. They have grown out so much. Yep, that one is another diamond one, which was 75. So they had these little prices on them all so that you could check. Then this is the necklace that I got. As I said, I wasn't going to pick up a necklace. This one has a little teeny tiny diamond just in it there. I picked up everything gold because I love gold. All the rest of my jewelry is gold. So it made it easy to pick things. And that one was only £45 and I must admit I did kind of go for it because it was such a good price. Then I picked up this bracelet which is very similar again but just a plain gold. I love kind of understated plain jewellery. That one was only £45 and then the last two items are quite similar. They are these two rings and I'm hoping that I can get these resized because they are a little bit big. And these were both, I believe one of them was 30 25 or 25 one of them was 25 and one was 30 so probably this one was 25 pounds and this one was 30 but as I say I need to get them this one I think needs to be just a little bit bigger and this one a little bit smaller my camera really didn't want to focus at all through that but hopefully that gave you a little bit of an idea of the stuff that I picked up I love their jewelry so it was really interesting to go to one of their sample sales. I think I will probably wrap this video up now. We've got loads of housey stuff happening at the moment, but I'm hoping to get a video out maybe next week of a roundup of what has been going on with the house. A chest of drawers has just arrived today for the living room, and I'm so excited because it might be an idea that we have for the bathroom. So yeah, lots going on. I hope that you guys are all good terrible weather here in the UK if you're in the UK I hope that you've got a brolly with you 24 7 at the moment and I will see you guys all in the next one bye